Happy Monday, my friends! It is a new week and the beginning of a new project. Well, the beginning of the sewing of the new project. Uh, yeah, it's been a big day today. Um, earlier today, my um, I met my trainer for the first time in over a month, I think. And it was good. I I don't know why, but for some reason, uh, squatting with he very heavy things is really helpful for my back. Probably because my biggest problems for with my back are around the lumbar region, so doing squats with very heavy things moves muscles that I don't just by doing squats on their own or with just a very light weight and it felt really really freaking good I I can't express just how good it felt and I expect that I will actually sleep tonight, especially after the sauna that we just came out of. Um, uh, in other other um, things, I uh, I'm I'm learning to play guitar. I'm using this uh, app called Justin Guitar as it's more like support for for learning. Uh, I do most of my learning from from the same guy, but on YouTube uh, as um, lessons on on YouTube. He does these five, ten, fifteen minute things, and he also has a lot of um, specific. Um, uh, songs that he teaches like I'm <laughs> I'm trying to learn uh, the full uh, Nothing Else Matters by Metallica very very slowly because <laughs> it is it is actually quite difficult it's it's actually quite difficult to play as a song anyway um, so yesterday I, I added the E chord to my repertoire of a and D, uh, which meant that the Justin Guitar app opened up a whole new set of songs um, for me to learn. And one of the one of the songs that became available was uh, Kenny Rogers' "The Gambler," which I am sure most of the people watching this video will never have heard of this song but my mom is a huge huge fan of Kenny Rogers and I knew this song by heart by the time that I was 10 years old so of course I had to had to learn it on the guitar as well because why not so I'm very excited about that um, I mean, I I don't know it by heart, obviously, because I started it tonight. <clears throat> but the the app gives you uh, three choices: normal speed, slow, and really slow. And I played through the slow, uh, slow, and really slow ones, and it was it was good. I actually I actually kept up, and um, I think that I might try to play it out. Uh, on normal speed tomorrow, but we will see how that goes. But anyway, I'm very excited about this because it's it's a song that I've known for pretty much all of my life and now I'm actually being able to play that on the guitar. It feels like I actually know the guitar <laughs> and <laughs> I know there's still a long, long, long way to go for me to be able to claim that I know the guitar, but it feels good. 
it, it feels like the practice that I've been doing has not been a complete and total waste of time. So <laughs> that's good. Um, anyway, it's time to get sewing. Uh, I've got about 30 minutes here before it's time to go to bed. Well, well, well yes, bed. Uh, we'll watch last night's um, John Oliver because it doesn't doesn't get here until uh, basically around the time that we're getting ready to get to work for the day. So yeah, we we don't get to watch it uh, until the next night. So anyway, that's that's what we usually do with our Monday nights and that's what we're going to be doing this Monday night. But I think that I might be able to um, construct the power net parts of my um, tankini tonight before I go to bed. And that would be awesome. So let's get to it. So it took me a while to set up the the sewing. I needed to change the needle because I'm working on um, basically a knit, a uh, um, very stretchy knit. Um, and on top of that, I also needed to change the foot because See, this is this is the thing that I really like about this machine. It it told me which foot I needed to use and which needle I needed to use to sew. Basically, a a, a light to medium weight knit. And here we are. Excellent. Anyway, um, I'm going to. Try to see if um, if there are other other uh, types of options for for me to um, like what are, what are the options for for me to um, use when I'm doing this because. I want to make sure that I am using the best possible setup for this thing. Um, so yeah, uh, time to get sewing.
Well, that took a lot longer than I thought. Uh, I really like the overlock stitch on this ma this machine. It's just, it takes a really long time to do. So, one seam. One seam is all I got for tonight, but perhaps it's enough. Um, tomorrow I will sew the second sling sling on this front piece and then I will probably sew the back piece on it I think or possibly finish because the instruction for the first step has you leave the bottom of the sling undone uh, at first I think probably so that it's easier to sew the other one on, I I guess. And then I think that after I sew the other one on, the next step is going to be sewing the, the sling together with the with the front piece. The Construction is kind of ingenious. I I'm I like it. But the time is late. Um so I will see you tomorrow. Good afternoon my friends. Uh well, I mean it's five o'clock, so not not really an afternoon anymore. In any case, happy day with natural light coming in from the window. What is this madness, you ask? Well, mostly it's me just having to ha having finished a very rough work day and needing some time away from the computer. So it is time to sew on the second sling in my... Um, Banksia Tankini. Yes, that is the thing that I am making. Uh, yeah, I I really like the, what was it? The double overlock or something like that um, on my new Bernina. Uh, it is very stretchy. I don't think that I have ever managed to get my um, um, uh, serger to do do uh, a stitch this this stretchy before, and I'm I'm really glad I did. Uh, yeah, so let it it takes a really freaking long time though. It is very slow, as as stitches go. Um, I don't want to increase the speed because I'm pretty sure that if I increase the speed, then I'll forget to uh, decrease it again after I'm done with the overlock, and then I'll just hurt myself, uh, and that's no good. Anyway, um, I also had to do some work on the hover feature of the of the pr uh, pre pressing foot the, the 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 sewing foot whatever the term is in english uh, because i realized that the power mesh that i'm sewing is far too thin uh, even in double layers for it to stay still while I'm sewing if I don't do that. So that was interesting. Uh, yeah, I had to fiddle around a lot with all of the, all of the, um, the settings on, on, on my machine, which was really nice, actually. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, but today is a new day and I want to get this show on the road. So 
it's a good idea to get this sewing moving so that I can possibly finish the front of this thing today and then I'll be able to work on the back maybe probably the back I don't I haven't I still haven't looked beyond the next step and the next step is indeed sewing the the bottom of the slings to the bottom of the the actual um, front piece but after that I'm I'm actually <laughs> I actually have no idea what's happening after this that's fine actually I I think I'm I I actually think that I prefer it that way a little bit because um, this way I have hopefully more focus on what I'm actually working on at the moment instead of something else entirely. So let us make sewing happen. I will see you on the other side.
Good afternoon. Uh, it is afternoon, just barely. Uh, today is Friday the 16th, I think. Um, so I've been, I've been debating my, myself about what to do with this Banksia. Uh, I messed up. I cut um, the self self fabric for the bralette on the inside and I wasn't supposed to. I don't know why but for some reason I thought because the the instructions for for the swim uh, swim version say that you need to cut the back with the the self facing uh, the self fabric and I decided to add more support for for the frontal region by uh, adding the power mesh back and for some reason I then decided that this meant that I needed to have both the front and the back on the self fabric which of course is not true so uh, for I, I had I had the devil of a time trying to figure out why this this seam well this potential seam here um, looked so thick I mean it's 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 a thick <laughs> thick um, anyway it's meant for thick women anyway uh, thick people with breasts sorry um, anyway uh, what, what was I saying yes so uh, I I finally yesterday figured out why I was having such a hard time and now I think I took the seam apart in order to add the because I was going to just well I did sew the front and the back of the power mesh together and then I took it apart again because uh, that's apparently what I do. Uh, in any case, now I need to, I, I had only, thankfully, I had only pinned these together. Now I need to figure out which side of the, let me move you here. There we go. Um, which side of the 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 front is supposed to be facing towards the skin because uh, the instructions I don't have the instructions here that's that's fine I who needs instructions instructions this is stuff and nonsense anyway um I need to figure out which side of the the slings are supposed uh, the front is supposed to be facing toward the skin because I would figure the the instructions tell me to uh, sew the front and the back together with wrong sides facing which would mean that the the seam would then come on come next to the skin unless I have misunderstood the what they mean by wrong because if if the slings are the slings are on the on the wrong side so that should be the one that is facing 
that 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 should be the one that is not the thing against the skin I think I don't know so anyway the wrong side of the front is the one with the slings and if the slings are supposed to be next to the skin then I need to sew because I don't want the seam to be the the hard edges oh, wait. these are these are these are not hard edges <clears throat> but I, I don't want the 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 seam finishing next to my skin if you can follow my th train of thought because I have I have very delicate skin and if there's there's anything that will chafe or has the possibility even a remote possibility to chafe then it will chafe and it will cause me to bleed because I am a delicate flower sorry I am a delicate fucking flower <laughs> and uh yeah I mean I am my my skin is very very thin like you can see my my um uh yeah it's it's a thing I I need a lot of foundation when I wear it and a lot of um so I I I gave up on actually using um what what is it called the cover cover up something like that I gave up on using that altogether because my skin is so thin that you can you can see like no amount of cover up will cover up <laughs> actually cover up my my dark under eyes so I started using um, a, a colored cover-up I think so basically <laughs> I put orange stuff on my skin uh, before I apply makeup and it turns turns my my under eyes to looking something like skin and not dark so yeah I have had to give up many a sports bra to due to um, chafing and it's not like they don't fit me they do they fit me just fine it's just that the band is just hard enough to to cause chafing and that's that's very annoying I'm I'm not a fan so again with this lengthy aside I need to figure out which way of these things is going to be facing the skin if it is the side with the slings which I kind of think it might be because if you can see here the the because the slings are just very slightly smaller than the the front piece the front piece sort of bags away from the the slings and that might be uh the outside or it might be that the slings are supposed to be there to sort of push you up and in from the outside. So I am not sure. <clears throat> Which means that I need to peruse the instructions a lot more before I, before I start sewing this. 
that's fun. Uh, anyway, it's my um, lunch hour is all lunch is almost over, which means that the perusing will ha have to happen after I finish work for today. So. With that, I will see you on the other side. Probably with sewing. Um, the convention Flights of Foundry starts today, which is very exciting. Um, I think I have one program item marked for today, which is also very exciting. But it also means that there's there's time to do some sewing, hopefully. So I will see you with the with the with more sewing in the future at some point. Good evening. It is Sunday evening. The time is almost 11 p.m. and it's time to call it a week. I, well, here. This is where the Banksia tank is, is right now. The the support bra thing. It's very close to being finished but it's not entirely finished. I need to add, finish adding the uh, thing for the thing. <laughs> the thing for the the um, the elastic. But it is slow. I am very tired. Uh, I I had a very late last uh, late night last night. I went to bed around 3 a.m. because convention and I had I did this thing where I I had I I for a while I have really wanted to take Henry Lien's, um um, class, letting the I Ching write your story, uh, letting the I Ching write your story for you, and <clears throat> he was offering it in, in this convention, and I was like, yes, hell yes, I'm signing up for that, it looks like it's in the right time zone for me, it wasn't. It really, really wasn't. Uh, so, so I wound up staying, staying up and uh, with with that, and then um, I had a reading after that because why not? Uh, it's it's a good time for that reading. So yeah, 
it was 3 a.m. when I went to bed. That was not good. So today I am tired and the convention was great, but I did not get sewing done. And next week is a new week. If you like this video, do, the, do all the YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you next Thursday.